to get up out of bed in the morning, to, to have to do my own jobs and reap my own rewards and pay the price if I'm no good. And I really was, you know, into being an actor and to learning the, 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 the trade as it is. How scared were you? Petrified. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely petrified. I have to say, the people in, in, in Manchester and especially the people in Coronation Street are fantastic. I, you know, I, you know I, I couldn't wait to get back to see them all again. I had stayed in contact with quite a few of them and uh, I was looking forward to going back and working on the, in, in that family unit again. And because it is like a family unit, you know? I mean, you, you get to see a lot of the, the cast in the newspapers or whatever after going to an award ceremony and it looks all very glamorous and everything. But for the other 51 weeks of the year, they're working hard. They're working long hours. They get home in the evening. The time is not their own. They have to learn the lines for the next day. It's a tough job. Yeah. It's a, it's a stress-filled job. And I take my hat off to them. And, and it's, I love working under pressure. And I'm delighted to be back in there now. You know? Do you know how long you're there for? Uh, at least six months. Yeah. At least six months. So if you keep being a bad boy, you know, you keep, the thing is, you've got to keep your character being colourful. I'm not a bad boy. I'm just, I'm just a lover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a lover. Yes, you're very free with your affection. Absolutely, but, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> great but character. I'm going to say, I mean, isn't it great to live that kind of vicarious life, playing that sort of uh, it's, it's great, you know. I mean, it's, it's very funny, actually, because the first time when I was in Corrie, I was there for about three years, and um, I, I had snogged various women, uh, Sunita <laughs> and Shelley and Shelley's mom and Tracy Barlow, you know, and, and my wife never watched any of the series or any of the episodes <laughs> when, when, when I snogged these women, you know. And then at Christmas time, uh, ITV put on a special about Coronation Street, and in the space of three minutes, my wife saw every snog. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, oh my God, for years I'm getting away with it, I just got caught. And, and, and how is the counselling going now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? hit first, ask questions later, yeah, that's my wife's model. That's a good you know. maxim for life. <laughs> Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, Keith Duffy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep, he's back on Corey tonight. Catch him tonight. Still to come this Monday tea time, we find out who'll be going through to the final in our singing competition, the People's Crooner. And one of Britain's